Yay! Okay, I think we're going. Start streaming. All right, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so corny, guys. This is so exciting. Okay, so this is day one. I have no idea what to call this. I don't know if I wanted to call it Streammas, Vlogmas. You guys have to help me on what to call this, but I'm so excited. So I know I've been telling you guys in every single video, but I'm going to be streaming every day this month at 6.30. I was thinking of changing the times on the weekends um, to making it like a little more earlier in the day. I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are because I think it would be fun because usually in the mornings for on the weekend, that's when I film. So like, I felt like I could do my makeup, we could hang out, chit chat, stuff like that. Hi. So, oh, hi, Miss Barb. I love Miss Barb. If you guys have not checked out how to get creative, I don't think I've ever mentioned her channel on my channel. I love her. She's like one of the sweetest woman, women. She's one of the sweetest ladies ever. She's actually my boyfriend's mother, and I love her, and she has a channel. She just recently hit 10,000 subscribers, so check her out. I think you can just click her name, actually. Um, if you click her name in the chat, you can check her out. But, hi, Miss Barb. My mom's going to be showing up, too. I told everybody to show up because I'm so excited. Actually, I don't know if I told My boyfriend's standing over there. He's, like, looking at the chat. What are you looking at? Anyways, so I don't know what to call this. I don't know if I should call it Streammas, Vlogmas. You guys need to help me name it. I want it to be something catchy. I was gonna, my boyfriend came up with Nickmas. I was like, ugh, I don't know. That doesn't sound too catchy. Or you know how Zoella or Zoe does uh, 24 days of Zoella? I was thinking maybe 24 days of Nikki. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mom. <laughs> so I don't know what to call it, but I gotta figure that out. So. We're gonna do this every day in the month of December at 6.30 on the weekends. The time may change. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. I've got my corny Christmas headband on. I actually wanna see it. Let me move myself over a little. There we go. I've got my corny Christmas headband on. I'm still decorating the background. You see I have like a little sleigh. I have some boxes. Oh, there you go. I love those boxes. I got those from Ross for like eight bucks the little one and the big one they were both eight bucks and they light up they look really nice at night i'll have to show you guys at night and then i got these things from the dollar store these little boxes and they're so cute and you can just like fill them up with stuff and they say like holiday cheer so anyways i tried to make it christmasy there's a a wreath that's lit lit up that's lit up right there so i'll probably put a little tree here though so I've got the Christmassy background. So I'm doing this even on Christmas. I'm doing it New Year's Eve. I'm doing it every day, unless I'm severely ill. But even if I'm ill, I will at least come on and say, hey, I'm not feeling well. But my goal is to stick to this every day. And as an added bonus, my boyfriend said that if I can do it for 30 days, that he'll be on the last stream. So on New Year's Eve, I'll get to show you him finally because you guys always hear me talking about him or you might see his hand drop in to like help me set up so he's gonna come in and say hi he won't be on the whole time but at least he'll come on and say hi so I'm just looking at the chat so okay so there's people here cool so that's my plan we're gonna do this every day for at least uh, oh someone doesn't understand English well hi from Russia <laughs> Um, so we're going to do this every day for at least 30 minutes, probably on the weekends. It'll go longer just because I'll have more time. I did. I think I've told you guys I work full time. So literally when I get off work, I'm going to come home, walk the dog and then get to streaming. So 30 minutes, probably on the weekdays, maybe sometimes a little longer and then the weekends will go probably even longer. So what I want to do in these things in these streams are kind of like Christmassy things. I wish I could show you guys like cooking, like baking, cause I'm starting to get into that. I'd like to do like a baking stream, but I don't know how I can move this camera to the kitchen. I feel like I would break something. I am very, very clumsy. So I feel like if I were to do that, it would not be good. So I thought maybe we could do like product reviews if I have any big announcements. Oh, you want to stay till the end of the stream cause I have a really exciting announcement. But if I have any big announcements, we can just chat. It'd be fun. I feel like it'd be fun just to hang out. 
you know, do Christmassy things, just talk. Because I know this time, like, even though I get really excited and a lot of people love it because there's gifts and there's family and there's food, I feel like there's also a lot of people that may be alone and, like, sometimes may be sad at this time of the year. So I just want this to be, like, a cheerful, fun get-together every night in the month of December. So I think it'll be fun. So let's see. Let me check the chat. Wow, this is so fun. I really like that it's live, you know, and interactive. Like, I can see what you guys are saying. When I do pre-recorded videos, yeah, you can respond to comments, but it's not live, so I really like that. Um, oh, cool. Someone's watching from Russia. That's really nice. Okay, so I figured during while we do these streams, I could do product reviews. So let's start with this thing that I have here. Uh, one of the I'm laughing at my boyfriend. He's standing over there. One of the things that I have that I wanted to talk about, and this is just going to be casual talking, and I'll check the chat to see what you guys are saying. But one of the things that I got, oh my god, I just did a video on the YSL concealer that they actually sent to me, and I was just so excited. If you've never heard of YSL, it's a luxury brand. They do clothing, high-end clothing high-end shoes, and they also do beauty products. And they just recently got into beauty products. So they sent me this for free, and I was, like, so excited. So they sent me the concealer, and they also sent me this YSL Vinyl Cream Creamy Satin. I'll put it close to the camera so you can see. And this is what all of their beauty packaging looks like. Come on, camera, focus. Let me turn it around. There we go. That's what all of their packaging looks like. And it is the number 402. And look at the box. It just looks so pretty. And that's what the side looks like. Oh, there's lighting. The director over there is telling me how to hold things. <laughs> so let's open it up. I thought it would be cool just to show you guys on stream. I actually did a swatch of this on my Instagram story. I don't know which one to keep up with. I don't know if I should be doing Snapchat, if I should be doing Instagram stories. Because it's essentially the same thing, but I have more followers on Instagram. So I've been getting into doing Instagram stories because I feel like that's where most people are. So I actually did a swatch of this on my hand, on my brown skin, and I did it on my boyfriend's hand who is has a white hand. So I did it on his hand and my hand. And I did a swatch. So make sure you follow me on my social medias because whenever I get a product, because I usually don't have time to just sit down right away and do like a full video because I have a whole setup. I have lights, microphones. So what I'll do is I'll just pop on Instagram or Snapchat and review it there. So let's see. So this is the color. This is what it looks like. It's coming up on camera as kind of like a bright orange, but it's really actually like a muted red. I feel like with kind of a purple undertone. So that's what it looks like. And I love the packaging. And I love that you can see the color on the outside. My mom says I love your Christmas hat. Thank you, Mom. Grace thought it was kind of corny, but I don't care. I love it. Um, so <laughs> this is what the color looks like. And then let's open it up. I really like the packaging. It feels really sturdy. It's plastic, but it feels sturdy. Can we talk about this? Oh, my God. This camera does not hide anything. These monsters. Anyways. So when you open it up, this is what the handle looks like. And it's kind of a slanted, like, oh, lovely police going by. It's kind of like a slanted brush head. I don't know. It's weird. It, it's slanted that way so that you can really get good application when you put it on, which is nice. So this is the color. It's coming up really bright on camera. If you see me looking over here, I'm just trying to look at chat. And I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing. So this is what it looks like. It's not as bright as it's coming up. And then when you swatch it, look at how pretty that is. It's really pretty. I think it'd be beautiful for the holiday season. I was thinking of maybe even pairing it with like some glitter on top. It goes on. It feels really creamy. And I feel like it's buildable. Um, it's not like super, super high coverage. Oh, my aunt's here too. That's funny. Hi, Aunt Angela. It's like a family affair. I wonder if she got the notification. Um, that's funny. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. I'm not used to having live chat, as you can tell. So you're going to see me looking at it a lot, but it's nice. So um, this is what the color looks like. I think it's really pretty. It doesn't come up on camera as if, oh, look at that nail. That's a mess. 
I probably should have done that before the stream. It doesn't come, come up on camera as not being very opaque, but it actually is. And it feels so nice. And one thing I have to tell you, when I put this on my hand, it did not come off for like two days. And I wash my hands very frequently. Even my boyfriend was saying, he's like, whatever you put on my hand, like literally stained my hand. And I think that's what it's actually called. Yeah. It's called a vinyl, a vinyl cream and it's creamy satin. And this stuff will last all day. Not kidding. I mean, it may not last as long because it is on the hand, but when you rub it in, it kind of has a shiny finish and it looks really pretty. And hi, Kay. Oh, this is so nice. I love seeing the live stream. Hi, everybody. Um, so I really like it. It's really long wearing. I'm actually going to get some other shades. Even though they sent this to me for free, if I like a product, I will buy it myself. So I'm super excited. So I wanted to share that with you. I've linked it down below. The only problem is I don't know. I don't think they actually name these things like names. I think the name of this one is just 402. So it's the YSL. Vinyl Cream Creamy Satin number 402. Love the packaging, very long wearing, beautiful color. I feel like on my skin tone, I might need to use a lip liner just to make it blend a little better. Um, oh, well, there's, hi, Mimi, hey. Oh my God, I love this. I'm gonna have so much fun talking to you guys. This is so fun because I'm just so used to doing like recorded videos and then replying to comments later. So it's so cool to like actually see you guys in the chat and hang out. So. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I really like this. I and you, If you check out the video that I did on their concealer, I really liked that concealer. I was shocked because I'm so oily. I didn't think that that concealer would last all day. And in that video, if you check it out, that concealer last, I don't know, I think I had it on for 10 hours. It was a long time. So that's really cool. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. I really like it. I can't believe they sent it to me for free. It's so awesome. That's one of the things I, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let me have some tea. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. I'll look at the chat. <laughs> Mimi said, hey, Bridget, what's popping? Oh, my God. My mom in the chat is probably going to be hilarious. She's going to be talking to everybody. By the way, Bridget is my mom. And then Miss um, Barb or how to get creative.com. That's my boyfriend's mom. So check out her link, how to get creative. When my mom asked about Coco, Coco is currently snoring next to me. Come on, Coco. Come, come say hi. Come. Hurry up. He's so lazy. If he could, he would sleep his life away. He's literally moving like a snail to come over here. Come on. Come on. Come say hi to the stream. This way. Oi. Oh God, he's so big. Ugh. There you go. There's Coco. Look at the camera. For once he's... Oh. <laughs> My boyfriend's like, you're showing his pee pee. Well, oh, he is a boy. Coco, look at the camera. Anyways, this is Coco. His crate is like right down here, right next to me. So he's usually right there when I'm streaming. I did make my dog an Instagram. I am one of those people. I love my dog. I made him an Instagram. I'm not the best at updating it, but I'm starting to get better. Because, I mean, look at how cute this is. Oh, he's really big. Look at his little sweater. Coco is huge. He weighs about, sometimes he's like 16 pounds, and then sometimes he's 18 pounds. And everyone always makes fun of me that he's not a full-bred Shih Tzu, but I believe he is. It's not his fault that he's overweight. My nickname for him is Chubbs <laughs> because he's so big. He's not fat. He's just a big boy. Look at him. If I just kept holding him like this, he would fall asleep right now. It's actually really ridiculous. You want to say hi to the people? No, he doesn't care. All right. Ugh. So big. Anyways, he was right next to me snoring. So what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about this. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. Let me take a second and look at the chat. Miss Barb says, hey, Coco. So I wanted to talk about something because as my channel is growing, we just hit 20K. I cannot believe it. Actually, I can believe it because remember, I set that goal for myself. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2017, and I think it's going to happen. But... As my channel grows, I've noticed that every day I'm getting more and more contacts from companies like emailing me saying, would you review our product for free? Or would you care to do like a sponsored video? 
And I know that, like, especially sponsored videos, for some reason, they really set people off. I don't understand it. Like, I watched a lot of the bigger YouTubers that you guys probably all watch, like Jaclyn Hill, uh, Tati, Glam Life Guru, Nicole Guerrero, all the big ones, all the way down to people that have, like, the same amount of subscribers as me. Someone I'm really into watching now is Samantha March. Um, I found her through Ipsy, and I really love her channel, and she had 12,000 subscribers. So I watch all YouTube channels. I don't care if you have like 500 subscribers or 2 million, but I've noticed that people get really upset sometimes when people do sponsored videos, and I don't understand that because I, as much as I put out content on YouTube, I also watch a lot of it, and if someone... I guess it just boils down to like if you trust them because if someone says you know oh I really like this product or I've been using it before they even contacted me to spot to do a sponsored video I usually if I've been watching the person a long time I usually trust what they're saying and I I guess I kind of hope you know they're not just doing it for the money and it doesn't tick me off or make me upset I feel like if the person it just boils down to if the person is a hundred percent transparent about it and says look this is a sponsored video but I've loved this product or this is why it's great then I don't have a problem with it so you guys can let me know if you're watching this recording let me know in the comments down below what your feelings are about sponsored videos they don't bother me like, if you don't want to watch them, you just don't have to watch them, right? I don't know. I just see comments in some people's videos, like, getting really nasty. Like, you're a sellout. Like, why do you do sponsored videos? But, I mean, I'm just realizing that more your channel grows, the more, um, not publicity, but the more exposure your channel's going to get and companies are going to contact you. So, let me know in the comments or in the chat what your thoughts are about that. I don't mind them. If I don't want to buy the product, I don't buy it. If I don't like it, I just don't watch the video. But I don't know. For some reason, it really makes people angry. So I just wanted to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments because in the future, I think it might become more prevalent on my channel. I'm talking about doing like... There are some channels I watch and I totally understand. People are like, are you serious? Another sponsored video. There's a person that has a million subscribers. I think she just hit like 1.5 million. And I'm not kidding. I've been watching her for years and every single video I watched for a week was sponsored because she posts a lot. I think like three or four times a week. And I was like, girl, come on. This is a bit much. It was like sponsored by um, a chapstick company then sponsored by a vino, like, but literally back to back to back. And even then, like, I, did, I would never, I have never posted a nasty comment in someone's YouTube channel ever. I mean, I, but I did think, like, gee, couldn't she have kind of, like, spaced these out? But I still wasn't offended, like, oh, my God, like, she's doing it for the money or why are there so many sponsored videos? I just thought, could she have spaced these out a little bit? So I was thinking if I start doing sponsored videos that I do them, like, not so frequently. I would never do them more than, like, once a month, maybe twice a month but I don't think I'd ever upload them like a couple times in a week just because I know how it sets so many people off so those are my thoughts on that you can let me know in the um, comments down below Kay says she doesn't mind it good I don't mind it either that's just how I feel like I told you guys as much as I put content out I watch YouTube more than I watch TV and that's crazy because I used to love Grey's Anatomy Scandal I haven't watched How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, Walking Dead. I'm so behind on all my shows. So I've been watching so much YouTube and I've been finding new channels to watch like Samantha March. You guys should check her out. I don't know if it's Samantha.March because I follow her on, um, on Snapchat too. But I believe it's just Samantha.March and she just hit like 12,000. I think she's about to hit 13,000 subscribers. So I watch everybody. Like I said, I don't care how many subscribers you have. So I am subscribed to so many people. So those are just my thoughts on that. Let me have some tea. Oh God. I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute. Wow. So you can see like how many people are watching the chat. Miss Barb says you can't worry about goofy opinions. I agree. My mom says, you go, girl. <laughs> My mom is so funny. I love her. Uh, so what else did I want to tell you? Oh, there's a big announcement I wanted to tell you. I was going to save it to the end, but I should bring it up now so we can have time to talk about it. 
So I'm sure you all know Michelle Phan. If you don't, she's like one of the original beauty people on YouTube. I think she started her channel on YouTube like seven or eight years ago. She has like eight million subscribers. She's been on commercials and all that stuff. So she she has her own makeup brand, which is called M Makeup. But she also started Ipsy. And if you've seen any of my videos, essentially Ipsy is a makeup subscription monthly package. So you pay them $10 a month. I have it linked down below. I've done unboxings on my channel. You pay them 10 bucks a month and they send you four to five beauty products every month, right? So she started that company, I think with one other person. I believe she has a partner. But she also started Ipsy Studios, and I'm sure you guys have heard of that. If you haven't, the big YouTubers used to work there, like Crispy, um, Desi, Perkins, and Lusterlux. I think they all got their start there. So she started Ipsy Studios, and essentially what they do there is the girls actually film those girls I just mentioned. They film their videos there, but they also work with Ipsy and get the makeup products for the makeup subscription boxes, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing a really long intro about what Ipsy is. But, so she started Ipsy Studios, Michelle Fawn, to essentially give back to the beauty content creators. So it's a location here in Santa Monica, it's an actual studio, where you can go and film your videos, you can meet other uh, YouTubers and maybe collab with them, but you have to apply to become a member. So I applied when they first launched it, because she did a video about it, saying this is how I'm gonna give back, it's totally free. Uh, but you do have to apply and they have to accept you into it. And she did a video about when, when she launched it. I think it was like a year, year and a half ago. And I applied and I didn't get in. So I was like, oh man, that sucks. And she said, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. I think at that point I had like 2,000 subscribers. And I got denied. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then for some reason it came back. Oh, because I follow, I follow Madison Miller. That's her name on um, YouTube, Instagram. I follow her, and she talked about how she just got hired as a stylist. So I was like, oh, I should reapply to that. I never give up, guys. This is going to get corny. But if I really want something, I am not giving up on it. Like this YouTube channel, I have been working on it for two years. And I'm not kidding. Until recently, I only had like 3,000 subscribers. Didn't make any money from doing this for almost two years. But I really like doing it. I really enjoy it, it's really fun. So I was like, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna keep doing it. So when I heard Madison Miller talk about Ipsy, I was like, oh, I should reapply again. You know, my channel's grown, I'm more consistent with my videos. So I reapplied and I got accepted, which is so cool. So I'm not a stylist. So the stylist, that's different. Those are the people that you see that like are the spokeswomen for Ipsy. So they do like um, photo shoots with them and they do the makeup subscription boxes stuff. I need some tea, I'm talking so fast, oh my God. I love tea, I cannot stand coffee. I, I don't hate many things, but I really, really don't like coffee. So, But I do drink it like twice a week because my days are so long and if I need energy, if I need caffeine, I'll have it, but oh God, I cannot stand the taste of coffee. So anyways, I was accepted to Ipsy Studios, which essentially means that I can go there, I think once or twice a month and film my videos there. But it's not like filming like here with my two lights. Like they have a full, serious, legitimate studio. So they have like a background. They have like huge lights that you can use. I think you can even use their camera. And what's even cooler is that they have like forums where you can meet other content creators. You can do collabs. So. I'm so excited. So I just got accepted, I think, uh, two weeks ago, a week ago. So I have to log on because you have to log on, you have to get into the forum, and you have to have, actually have to schedule time to go and film there. So I need to do all that, but I'm so excited. So it'll be nice to have a change of background. Oh, I didn't realize the camera moved. Let's put it back. There we go. So it'll be really nice to have a change of background there. I'll meet a lot of content creators so we can do collabs. So you can expect some great things coming up from that. And they have like really awesome benefits. Like um, they have a music library. If you're a content creator, you should definitely check it out and apply. I'll actually add the link down below, but they have, um, like a music library, it is so, if you make YouTube videos, you understand it is so hard to find music to put in your videos because 
you can't just use music for, I'm sure most of you know this, but you can't just use music that's copywritten everything. Everything you hear on the radio, everything you hear on Pandora, that's copywritten music. So if you use that music, you get a strike. You get too many strikes, they kick you off YouTube. So you have to find music that's not copywritten. So they actually have a music library of things that aren't copywritten. So they have some really cool ben benefits. Oh, thanks for all the congrats. So I'm super excited. So I need to get on because I've just been so slammed with work. I need to get on their website and set up a time to schedule filming there. And to, they have um, not live events. Actually, I, do, I think they actually have parties once a month too for people. So I've got to get on there and find out all the benefits. But I'm super excited about that. Another person that I follow that I mentioned, mentioned earlier, Madison Miller, that's her name on Instagram. She just got hired as an Ipsy stylist. And that's so exciting because I've been watching her. Her channel is literally blowing up. I've been watching her since she had 50,000 subscribers last year. And she's already at like 330,000. So that's really cool. And she just got hired there. So that long-winded story was essentially my little don't give up, keep trying, even if you get denied. Because I was really bummed when I got denied. Because I was like, oh man, like I was uploading consistently, but I didn't have that many subscribers. Like I said, I think it was like 2,000. I think it was like 1,500, 2,000. But I still thought I had a chance. So I don't know. And they've been sending out emails saying that they're really ramping up and they want people to join. So I'll put the link. I'll add it to the video down below so you guys can check it out. I feel like I'm talking a mile a freaking minute. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> Let's look at the chat. The best thing that I like about live streaming so far is this chat. That is so cool. It's just nice to be able to do this live and to be able to talk to you guys. So that was my big announcement. So I'm super excited for that. So hopefully I can get in there and film. Oh my God, 26 minutes has passed already. Hopefully I can get in there and film this month. That's the goal. So let's wrap it up because we're coming up on me talking for like three minutes or 26 minutes. So we're going to be doing the live stream every day this month. No matter what happens, I should be able to keep that. Uh, New Year's Eve, hopefully my boyfriend will come on stream and at least say hi. No, he will. If I can keep it up every day. We're doing this even on Christmas. I just want it to be, as Miss Barb would say, she says this in her chat, a drama-free zone. So I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about drama. We're just going to talk about fun, happy, frivolous things and make it like a happy streamist. Also, if you have any recommendations on what the heck to call this, I was thinking of calling it Vlogmas because that's, I feel like this is vlogging. I mean, it's live. It's just, you're not going through my whole day, but we're going to be like recapping my day. So I don't know if I should call it Vlogmas. I was thinking Streammas because it's streaming. So Streammas or 30 Days of Nickmas. I don't like Nickmas. My boyfriend came up with that. I don't like it. It doesn't sound cute. Or 30 Days of Nickymas. I don't know. I have to think about it, but I need to name it something. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments or the chat. So I'm going to live stream every day. And then after I'm done live streaming, if you miss the live stream, I will upload this as a video. So there's going to be a lot of videos this month. So there will be these live streams, which will be seven days a week. Plus, my goal is to get two videos up a week, like beauty recorded videos that are recorded and edited. So... How many videos is that? That's 38 videos in December. So gear up, make sure you're subscribed, make sure to give this a thumbs up so other people can see it because, oh, that's a good one, Miss Barb. 30 days of beauty, Miss. I think Race actually said that too. I think he said that. But doesn't that kind of sound like booty, Miss? You know, that could be a little racy. I don't, <laughs> I don't want people to get confused. So if you... <laughs> If you miss the live stream, it will go up right away, like 30 minutes after the live stream is over. So make sure you subscribe. I will always, before I go live, I'll post an Instagram photo. I'll post an Instagram story. I'll post a tweet and I'll snap. So all of my social is linked down below. So make sure you're following me so you know when I'm going live. I'm trying to decide what time to do it on the weekends. I think I should just be consistent and have it 6.30 every day. But 
I feel like the weekends would be funner to like be doing makeup and stuff. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're at the 30 minute mark. So I'm so excited. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.